Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I would like to show you how to convert a graphic image to either a JPG or a PNG. Now, the difference between the two, a JPG file is a, sim a simple raster image graphic file. A PNG file uh, could be raster or vector. It'll actually save vector imaging as well. Um, uh, the purpose of this, the Creative Studios that you get with your Virtuoso printer will only import JPG and PNG files. So if you have a TIFF file or a Corel document or such as that, you're going to need to save them as a JPG or a PNG. Now there are a few different ways to do this. Um, first is simply with Windows. Um, you'll see here I have a TIFF file. Uh, I have several TIFF files. Um, I'm just going to open one of these TIFF files and you'll see it's just a simple background pattern. Now I, this I'm using a, a, a program called Erfren View. Uh, it's a free download. If you do a search for Erfren View on the internet you'll find it. Um, you can use that program. You can also open the program with, um, I could open this with Photoshop. I could open this with Paint, or I could even open this with Windows Photo Viewer. Um, I'm going to simply open this with Paint for right now because this comes with Windows. Um, once you have the file open in Paint, you can actually do a File, Save As, and you can pick either PNG or JPG, and that will save your file. Um, you're just going to ask you for a file name, and you'll notice it's actually defaulting 4.jpg. So when I save this, I now have a 4.jpg file as well. And you'll notice it's the same graphics file as the TIFF file. Uh, you'll also notice that it's, it's smaller. It's much smaller than the TIFF file. It does not have as much graphic information. Um, another method as with Photoshop, let's open the TIFF file with Photoshop. I'm going to open Photoshop Elements. And I'm going to simply do File and Save As and select the pull down here. I can come down through the list and select JPG or I should actually have PNG, yes, or you can do a PNG. Again, either file format. This time we'll actually save it as a PNG. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to do Interface None. And then when I close my Photoshop, I now have a, a PNG file. You'll notice it named it for Copy PNG, which is default for Photoshop. But again, if I open this, we'll notice it is the same file. And you'll notice this is even much smaller file. Um, next we'll show you with Corel and I'm just going to simply open a Corel document. Uh, this just happens to be a Corel document I was working on for a co-worker. So we'll bring this picture in and we'll do file and you can do save as and this gives you a couple of options in here. You can actually, oh, it looks like PNG and JPG are not options in here, which is actually a good thing. Uh, we'll cancel this and we'll do file and export. Now here, you can export as a JPG, or as we come down, you can file, export as a PNG file. Now this being uh, this is actually a raster image brought into Corel, but again, we could export this as a PNG file and it would save our vector information. I just want to hit OK on this, and then when we minimize Photoshop, you'll notice we now have the PNG file. At this point, you can now import these files into Creative Studios. Now, you can pretty much use any graphic software you're either going to do a save as function and 
say change the file type to a JPEG or PNG, or you're going to use an export function and export it as a JPG or a PNG file. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi Systems, please give me a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for the first available tech, or you can send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.